The large cow and calf that's at the museum was originally commissioned by Leo Hendry, who was a collector of mine. And uh, he wanted this large scale piece of mine at his ranch that he bought in Colorado. To get to know the, the subject matter for the, the Scottish Angus cow and calf, I spent time with his animals. He had some that were out in the field and I, they were so tame you could just go up and pet them. They were just amazing. Even the bulls were like puppy dogs. And so you got to know them pretty well. I shot a lot of photographs of the, these guys and it just happened that this calf came over and was sort of interacting with the, the mom and right by it and it just sort of, I'm just lucky. That's why when I go out and shoot these photographs of these animals, I just keep shooting and shooting and shooting because you never know when you're going to get exactly what you want and that's pretty much what happened is that um, the pose for them was, uh, was from one of the actual photographs. The cow became this massive landscape to me when I started sculpting it. And so I took advantage of the forms and, and stretched them out and, and changed them and, and simplified the textures on the surface. I, I liked the idea that she was she's so big that it was like sculpting this wonderful prairie landscape with rolling hills and things. And so rather than stick exactly to the way the cow was, I sort of just took advantage of that and just, it was a lot of fun. It's the largest piece of sculpture that I've done, and it was, it was the first time I ever was able to really feel that way in my, in my work, that this thing just was so expansive and just going on. It was, a, it was really wonderful. The surface of my sculpture is real important to me, and I use a, a tool that's serrated that, that leaves sort of these, these very... Uh, even marks across the surface and and I, I like to use that tool in order to take and draw the person's uh, eyes over the surface and I use those textured direction changes to identify when one forms connecting into another form and that there's a change or an impression. The tool that I use is, is is basically the serrated tools have been around forever, but most people, um, or a lot of people, tend to wipe that texture out. It's, I mean, the serrations were basically designed so that the tool would glide over the clay surface easier. I just decided I liked leaving them in. I can't even tell you for sure when that actually happened, uh, but but uh, it's just sort of grown as a signature of my work over the years.